guys, so to start off, I'm just starting off with my BB cream like I normally do and I'm just applying this all over my face and then blending it in with my fingers since that just is the quickest way and it's the way I like to do it best. Then I'm going in with a concealer brush and some concealer and applying this to any problem areas and under my eyes and on my lids as a primer. And to blend it in, I'm patting it in because this way it'll give you better coverage rather than just smearing it all over your face and putting it in areas that you really didn't need to. And after that, of course, I'm going to set it with a powder. Let's put a smile on that face. So let's put a smile on that face, taking a lip liner, an eyeliner, anything you really want to use to dry out your smile. Just dry it out. The lines don't have to be even or straight or anything at all. This can be as messy as you want because it will be covered up later. And then taking some school glue and some tissue, I'm using that to create the walls of this cut. So I'm just applying the glue right along the lines that we just drew. And then taking very small pieces of the tissue, like very small I'm talking, I'm just applying this right on top of the glue. Make sure you keep piling it on top of each other. And after doing about six layers, I was all good to go. While I was letting that dry, I moved up to the eyes and taking the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean. I just applied this all over my eyes on the upper lid and the bottom lid and I even brought this to my crease a little. And you can make this as messy as you want because you're going to be blending it out anyways. So it really doesn't matter if it looks good or not. Once you feel you either look like a raccoon or Bucky Barnes, you know you can move on. Take some black eyeshadow and just smudge this all on top of it. And this will not only set it because it is a cream product that we use, it will also just make it look messy and even smokier, which is the look we are going for. Then, taking that same black bean jumbo eye pencil, I'm just drawing this triangle below my eye and adding a dot below it and then mirroring that on the top part of my eye and I am covering a little bit of my eyebrow with this and of course this is being done on both sides and then again I'm setting that with a black eyeshadow. He turns to me and he says, why so serious? He comes at me with the knife. Why so serious? After filling in my eyebrows, I'm taking that black pencil again and lining my lower waterline, adding some falsies and mascara. And... Why so serious? By now, that smile that we created should be entirely dry, so just go over that with some concealer or foundation, and if it looks orange or yellow, then just go over it with a tan eyeshadow, and that will mute the yellow-orange toned look, and then after that, add some fake blood, or in my case, I just took a bright red lipstick and added this up into the cut, and it just made it look bloody, and then I went in with some black eyeshadow and added that at the very top part of the scar, and then brought it down to deepen it and make it look very deep and bloody and gross. And to give the illusion that the cut is slightly raised, I'm taking a tan eyeshadow and just blending this right below and right above the cut. And to completely finish off the look, I'm taking a matte red lipstick, applying this to my lips, and then I didn't feel as if I was happy with it just like that. So I added some black eyeshadow and then just patted that on top of the lipstick to complete it. You see, in there, I have some moments. People show you who they really are. This is inspired by Harley Quinn and the Joker, and I'm absolutely obsessed with how this turned out. I really hope you guys enjoyed it.
that is all for this video. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. That was probably my favorite Halloween makeup tutorial that I've done so far. I have so many more planned for you guys, so definitely keep an eye out for those. But this one was inspired by Harley Quinn and the Joker, and I don't know. I just, I really, really, really like how it turned out, and I hope you guys like it as much as I do. If you did like it, then definitely give it a thumbs up. I would love to see your recreations of this look, especially if you do recreate it. So make sure you send me your pictures through my Instagram or my Twitter. All will be linked in the description below. And yeah, comment down below anything you want, um, anything you may have liked, anything you may want me to do. And that's it. I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.